Now with the parents of the suspected Tampa serial killer risking jail by refusing to cooperate with investigators. This as their son is officially indicted on murder charges. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the latest. This morning, Howell Donaldson III officially charged by a grand jury with four counts of premeditated murder for the killings that terrorized one Tampa neighborhood for nearly two months. We thank Tampa Police Department for their hard work in, an, in the investigation of the case and helping us to prepare the case to be brought before the grand jury. Donaldson's parents now also facing potential charges if they continue to refuse to answer investigators' questions. On Thursday, a judge ordering Rosita and Howell Donaldson Jr. to comply with a subpoena from prosecutors by January 5th or be held in contempt. They did not have a right to refuse to testify. We are seeking testimony that would only be within Mr. and Mrs. Donaldson's access and knowledge. They'd been vocal in the days following their son's arrest. We love our son. We support our son. And we just, we pray strength for the family members and we just ask that they do the same for us and pray strength for us because we all are devastated. But prosecutors who have said they'll seek the death penalty now say the pair won't answer questions about their son's developmental history, gun possession, and state of mind before his arrest. Details that might help investigators discover an alleged motive in the murders. What would you do? If police came to tell you that you had to testify against your child, um, I don't know. But his parents' lawyer says forcing them to testify against their own son is an attack on the American family. When there's a valid subpoena and an order by a judge compelling them to testify, they have no choice but to participate and to provide testimony. Only a handful of states have laws protecting parent-child privilege, and Florida is not one of them. Donaldson is scheduled to be arraigned on Tuesday of next week. His parents back in court on January 5th. Their lawyer says they simply don't want to help prosecutors with a case that could potentially see their son get the death penalty. But, of course, victims, the victims' yeah. families, want answers. And rightfully so. They want those answers. All right. Thank you, Lindsay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.